technician here again with a little discussion on using O-rings on pistons used in air cannons, pneumatic cannons as they're also known. Uh, there are several different styles that are out there. Some of them have a barrel seal that has a flat piece of rubber on the front that uses air pressure to hold against a, an opening into a barrel for a pneumatic launcher. Uh, the type of valve that I'm using is a style of a, a shuttle valve or a spool valve and it's uh, called a quick dump valve. It's basically a, a short piston that sits inside of a pipe that has holes cut in the side of it so pressure is applied to the side of the piston. O-rings on both ends of the piston would keep air from going either way. Then the piston is pulled back mechanically with a rod that goes through the piston. When that is pulled back, it lets the air go by and it discharges it. There's been a lot of discussion on a lot of the forums on, especially the, the barrel sealing pistons, is they have a pilot area in the back that is used to cause the tank pressure to force the piston open. A lot of times people open the, the little valve to trigger it and the air comes rushing out but the cannon doesn't fire. So this is a, a little video discussion on how to use O-rings in piston valves, whether it be a regular piston or, or one of these type of valves. Uh, if you don't have a good seal on O-rings or on a piston, uh, air leaks by and you can't get a big enough pressure drop on the back to allow the tank pressure to unseat the face of the piston off of your barrel to cause the piston to come back. So leaks is one issue. The other issue is even if you do get enough air blood out of the pilot area, uh, the piston still may not want to move because the friction is high. We're going to address the high friction uh, problems with uh, pistons. One of the ways that I used as a background for a way to cut the grooves for the O-rings was from working on gasoline engines. They use piston rings. The piston rings have a split on the end so that they can expand out to the diameter of the cylinder when they expand out to the diameter of the cylinder the bottom of the piston ring does not seat up against the piston. There's a space behind the piston so what makes an engine not leak massively? Well the secret is that the pressure pushing on a piston ring pushes it against a flat surface and that's where the seal is. It's not underneath the piston or underneath the piston ring towards the center. So with that in mind if we take O-rings and put them on a piston so that they're real loose. I've heard on the forum uh, spud files that uh, they like to use what's called floating rings and this is basically what it is, a floating O-ring. The O-ring is free to spin, it's loose, lots of space underneath it. A lot of times people figure the area underneath the uh, O-ring has to be big enough so that when you jam this into a space and the ring the O-ring gets squeezed down that it has to hit the bottom of the groove. All that does, it does provide a seal but it also increases the pressure immensely and makes the piston hard to move. What we want is a piston that is easily moved. So with that I'll show you, I have a video on my little marshmallow launcher. We'll take a quick look at it. I'll set this aside. The valve in the marshmallow launcher is a uh, piston ring. Uh, type valve. It uses no ring on it. This one is really difficult to open the valve. If you look you can see the uh, ports are covered by the piston. If I stand it on end, give it a shake and then look in it, you can see just a little shake opens the valve. You can see the ports in there. That's how easy this little cannon pulls. I have a video online of my preschooler grandson launching marshmallows from this at 100 psi. There are some naysayers that say, you can't do that, it's going to leak. Well, for the naysayers, here's the big brother of it, this whole video, it's sitting over here. Uh, 
with no air supply connected. The gauge has a reading on it. Let's uh, set up some targets down here and we'll uh, see what it does. We'll dip that down there and give the plunger a yank. I think it held air. Just thought you'd like to know. Enjoy!